welcome back to my channel dope ladies and dope gentlemen so today we're going to be talking about natural hair care when it comes to our winter routine winters are normally a lot more harsh on our hair and our hair is already very fragile so we want to make sure that we're taking the proper steps and the proper care to maintain our hair and retain length at the end of the day so i have a little list i'm going to go through i'm going to post it as well but i'm going to go through it quickly and uh, we could talk about a few things and i'll talk to you guys about what i do and my little tricks and everything like this first and foremost this is a great protective style it is just a bun literally just a bun and I, what i'll do is i will actually show you guys how i do this bun because i think a lot of you guys have been asking me so i will do that so let's go ahead and get started all right so the first thing is maintaining a healthy diet. It's very important that, of course, we are feeding our body the things that it needs, not always the things that it wants. And also, we are what we eat. So if the healthier we eat, the healthier our hair is going to be, right? Wash hair less often. This is a big one. I typically only shampoo my hair, I would say, twice a month, and that's probably even a bit too much. You always want to make sure you're using a shampoo that is sulfate, free okay because sulfates you guys is found in dishwashing detergent and that's just so bad for our hair <laughs> we don't need none of that okay next uh dc like it's your job for those of you who do not know what dc means i'm going to take a guess just guess one guess hopefully you got it right it means deep conditioning so i talked to so many girls and so many guys and what we're really missing about our hair are, are the basic techniques. Deep conditioning is basically putting that moisture back into our hair. It's basically, our hair is our baby. You got you have to treat your hair like it is your baby. It is a full-time job. Deep conditioners, if you guys have not, or if you don't really know what those are, make sure you check them out on my channel. I have a lot of DIYs. Uh, do-it-yourself conditioners and then I have a lot of deep conditioners that I bought from the store and then I applied them to my hair but deep conditioning is great again it's gonna leave your hair feeling moisturized and everything like that you're also gonna want to pre-poo often pre-poo is when you basically uh, you're using a hot oil treat no, I'm sorry pre-poo is basically when you divide your hair up into four sections and then you place oils in there penetrating oils not sealing oils a good one is uh, coconut oil which I like to use often often another one is almond oil as well next less heat so I uh, really only straighten my hair maybe max probably five times a year using heat on your hair is not bad but using excessive heat on your hair is not good so make sure you avoid any heat, anything like that. If you can even do um, certain flexi rod sets to get maybe your hair more straight or to get a certain curl, why don't you guys use that or try that method? Less heat is always best, especially during the winter months, okay? Steam your strands. That's a really great one. I don't have a steamer. I really, really want to get a steamer, but I definitely talked about a steamer in my previous videos. Steaming your hair is major goals, like, ma like major key. I'm sorry, it's a major key. Steaming your hair allows the follicle of the hair to open up and receive the product more. So imagine like a flower is blooming just to receive that product more. And then it closes up. Okay. So that's what steaming is going to do. You actually do see a very, very major difference in your curl pattern. So I would definitely recommend that. I need to get a steamer myself. If you don't have one, I would use the hot oil method, which is also great. Okay. Massage your scalp with oil. When you massage your scalp, you're allowing the blood circulation to flow more to your to your hair, and then it grows faster. You're encouraging it to grow fast. Avoid wash and goes. That is the hardest thing for me to do is to avoid wash and goes. I love having my hair in wash and goes, but I have noticed that my hair is more prone to breakage the more I leave my hair in wash and goes. I would say probably about like the fourth day, my hair starts to become like prone to breakage and I get little single strand knots at the end of my hair and it's just not cute. I know a few of you have mentioned that to me as well that you get um, your single hand single 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 strand knots and what you can do is you can just take when that happens take this strand of hair take scissors and just cut at that knot and you'll be good to go. 
hot oil treatments one time per week. So I love hot oil treatments. Again, it's the same as massaging your scalp. What you're really doing is you're getting the blood flow circulating um, throughout your system. So that's going to basically encourage faster and quicker hair growth. Trim ends and seal with heavy oil. I know, ladies and gentlemen, we don't like to cut our hair. We're like, just cut half an inch. Cut half an inch off that half an inch. But honestly, you're not going to miss it. You're not going to miss it. If it's dead hair, you just want to make sure that it's it's gone. Because, of course, good hair is healthy hair. Let's not forget that. Good hair is healthy hair, okay? And then once you seal those ends with oil, it's going to moisturize your ends more. And they're going to be less prone to breakage. Utilize protective styles. During the winter time, you guys, we are going to want to use the crap out of our protective styles. Like, seriously. So, my favorite protective styles are, here's a few. Wigs, for those of you who do not know, I love my wigs. I really do. I love my wigs. If you guys go on my Instagram, Ellie Michelle and Dope Curls, you will see me rocking my wigs. And I just, I really, really do love them. They're, they're, they're great. And you can just change up your look, everything like that. I go on wigtypes.com. That's a really fun one. Um, that's the main one I go on. And then I do Friday Night Hair, which is a great one too. I like their wigs, but they seem to tangle very easily. And this is just, I'm not about it. So, another thing that I like to do is a slick back bun. So, I'll take it here and just slick it back and wrap it up. And what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you guys how I do this, this hairstyle. This is probably my, my go-to hairstyle when I'm like running around in the mornings or basically when I just have a really busy day and I just throw my hair up in like a high bun. So this is really fun. So what you're going to do is, you guys, my hair looks crazy right now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. What you're going to want to do is, you guys are going to want to have a hair tie. But I, oop, You guys want to have a hair tie. I use these because it doesn't have any elastic. So I know it's not going to rip my hair out, first and foremost. That's what we do not want. Okay. Alright. Then what you're going to do is, I do have a bristle brush. And of course, I just use gel. I use my got to be gel, which is amazing. If you guys want a more detailed updo look, if you guys want more detailed protective style looks, just let me know and I'll do that for you guys. But right now, we're just like doing a lot of the information. So, what I'm going to do is wrap that around a few times. And I'm going to hold my hair in one hand and the rubber band in the other. I'm going to twist it one more time. Bring the hair underneath. So I'm going to bring it underneath. I'm going to pull it through. And I'm going to stop right before I get to the end. So you guys can see the ends right here, right? And then I just pull it from the sides. And then I pull it. And there it goes. There's my neat bun. And then we're good to go for the day. It's amazing. I really like that. I really like this hairstyle. But again, if you guys want me to show you more detail, how I do my little baby hairs, and then how I do the slick back low bun, just let me know. Also, another thing I do, I use my scarves. I love using um, head wraps and then putting some earrings in as well. So those are my favorite. I think I'm just going to show you guys the hairstyles I do probably in about, um, not next week, but the next week after that week, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next week. I am going to go over my skincare routine. And once again, thank you for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tag your friends. These videos are so important. I know that I'm not doing necessarily a tutorial, but it's always great to be knowledgeable about our hair because that is the foundation. If we're not knowledgeable about our hair, it kind of doesn't matter any style we're going to do because eventually... Our hair is not going to be as healthy as it can be, so any style that you do is just going to look mediocre. And it could look fabulous, okay? So make sure you guys are all taking in this knowledge. I hope you guys had a great time. I hope you guys have a, gr I hope you guys had a great time. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to follow me on all social platforms, Instagram, Snapchat, and of course, the tube. Alright guys, don't forget, stay dope.